All right, guys. We're starting another quest mod today. It's called um, a jerk home, whatever it's called. Um, to start this quest, this guy's already talking to me. I guess that's how the quest starts. We go to this place, this hideout right here. It's like up there. We go to this place. We go up there. Above Margroth. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Let's read this. Is a content map adding a late game multi celty dungeon quest line. The aim of the mod is to add gameplay that will conflict with any other mods while being well the base game. It's time for players starting a new game or expanding the game by installing other content mods. Installing the mod does not force or guide the player towards the quest line or other content the mod is meant to be natural part of the game. It's possible to access most of the content with any other clue of the quest, though it might be hard without knowing the details. Uh, darker than average since the Skyrim offers a little use for light and spell abilities. Um, meant for late game, level 25 required to start a quest. Uh, fully voiced new quest line, about a dozen new detailed cells, new spells, new items, scripted battles. Alright. So you come Your here, you go up here, this guy starts talking to you. Hmm? You are a persistent one. Curious, aren't we? Let's make a deal, yes? You bring Dara's four bottles of skooma and never mention I was here, and I will tell you something useful. Oh, it is. Trust me. chest no clue hmm. no clue how long this quest is hope it's long A nip in the air. The cold won't be good for my crops. It never is. People are just talking. So it should be in here. When the Empire surrendered to the Alt. It's in food, right? I don't know. Skuma. Where can you get Skuma at? The Dominion. They shake. So can't be an ingredient. I will check. Skuma, Skuma. That's all. Um, alteration. On. I think we can. We're gonna check out this and see if we can find it. Um, so uh we get some cheat spells here. This cheat I don't know what I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. What does it say? It's crafting supplies. Like a potion. Maybe. We might bring him ten thousand skuma. <laughs> Just bring him ten thousand, all right, guys. Oh, 
10,000 is good enough. Alright. Put something on to so do this. Yeah, for now. Until we give it to him, then we'll just drop all of it. They'll probably send us to a dungeon or something like that, probably. I wonder where the dungeon's at. Ten thousand screw it is. Just drop it on his foot, just like I was like carrying a giant bag. When we get there, we, we gotta like take a good picture. This should work. Well, there we go. No, not mods, not mods, no, no. No, I said no. Come on. This one has something for me? Yes, I have missed this. So, what do you wish to know? I am Daraz, a former slave miner. I am hiding here from my old masters. The Dremora and their twisted servants in Jericho. Most have not. The entrance is sealed, and the Dremora rarely visit the outside world. They only come out to pillage, trade, or recruit. There is a powerful relic inside Jerkholm. I am very interested in studying its abilities. I am sure I can craft you something from it, yes? Daraz will also have some peace of mind knowing you need to slay a lot of the Dremora lords to achieve this. Now you will have to find the key to be able to enter Jelkom. I have heard the guards speak of it. The key is similar to the relic we are looking for. This item is not as powerful and possibly unsuitable for crafting purposes. The Dremora referred it as a spare key. If I am right, the key is hidden in a frozen cave near Highgate Ruins, west of Dawnstar. You can find the entrance to Jelkom itself from the volcanic areas of East March. It is but a small hatch leading underground. Something will happen to any living beings traveling with the key bearer, so it is probably best to enter alone. This is all you need to know for now. If you have any further questions, ask now. I will try to answer everything I can. 
What do you wish to know?